This is the seventh uh, lesson you have in your LMS, right? So uh, here what we talk about is we talk about uh, the devices we use when we want to uh, communicate being in a network, right? So we have uh, learned uh, many types of networks uh, starting from uh, local area network to uh, wide area networks, personal area networks and all those kind of networks. So when we access different types of networks, we need certain devices. Those are the things we are going to discuss today, right? And uh, while uh, I am doing the lecture, sometimes I'll ask you a few questions, right? So let's begin with this one. Uh, if you can't see this image, please let me know, right? Otherwise, uh, you will not understand what this is. So let's talk about the first device we have. Uh, do you know what's this device? Any idea? If you know what's this device, you can mention in the chat area, right? This is the device what we called as network interface card. Yes, someone has mentioned as network card. We can say it is a network interface card. Sometimes we call it simply as NIC or else we can say local area network adapter, right? LAN adapter. So these are the terms we use for network interface card. Why we need network interface card is when we want to access network, we need a medium to do that. So the connection should be between two or more devices to connect the devices, we need ports to be connected. So that facility is given using network interface card, right? So basically what we do with network interface card is this is used to access the network medium, right? So the special thing you have to remember regarding this network card is here we have a read-only memory chip. We simply say ROM chip, right? And inside that ROM chip, it has a unique address called MAC address. I'll write it here. It has a unique address, which is called as MAC address. When we have this MAC address, each of the network interface card could be uniquely identified. That means if you connect one network card to your machine, then uh, that machine and another machine in a network could be uniquely identified, right? That is uh, happened with help of this MAC address. And this is the interface card which will be connected to your personal computer. This is for a desktop machine, right? And uh, when you plug this card into your computer, you know that you use cables to connect two computers together. Right, and we have already discussed about uh, uh, twisted pair cables, Ethernet cables. Right, so here we have that kind of a cable, which is uh, known as Ethernet cable. And when you look at this uh, this point, this place here, you see the connector which we use to connect cable into this network interface card. So in the network interface card, you have the female connector. And uh, here in this wire, you have the male connector. And this connector is called as RJ45. This is the connector. So this is called as RJ45 connector. And right somewhere here. This is RJ45. 45. This RJ45 means registered jack 45, right? So registered jack connectors are used to connect communication devices. And if you have seen the connector you have, you are using, <coughs> sorry, if you have seen the connector you are using uh, for your uh, LAN phone, then it is a bit uh, similar to this one, but it is smaller than this one. 
and that one is called as RJ11, right? So RJ11 is used for uh, phones and RJ45 is used for uh, these local area networks, right? So when you look at this interface card, I have another two cards to show you. Here, this one is a wireless interface card, right? I'll write it here again. This one is wireless NIC. And here also you have that kind of a wireless adapter. And this can be taken as a uh, uh, built-in wireless adapter. I'll simply mention as wireless adapter, which can be seen inside your laptops. Right? This is also a wireless adapter. And you can see this inside your laptop. Okay. So if you check these adapters, the difference between the previous uh, network interface adapter and this one is this works wirelessly. You, you don't have to connect any wires to these. Uh, instead, you can use wireless signals to communicate between the devices. So that is the difference between those two, right? And next one, this one looks uh, like a box and here we have number of boxes, similar, right? Similar boxes, set of boxes are there. Uh, anyone knows what is this? What is this device? If you have any idea, you can use chat. Yes. Okay. Someone has mentioned as network switch. Any other idea? Okay. Most of you have mentioned this is a switch. But uh, the picture I have taken is called as hub, right? So here yes, someone has mentioned as repeater as well. So as I told you, if you can see the things I have mentioned down below, right? So different uh, set of boxes are there, which looks a bit similar. Of course, yes, all those things are looks a bit similar. And uh, when you just look at the uh, picture, it's a bit difficult to identify what this device is, right? So this is called as hub. And uh, what happens in hub is, this is a device which we use to connect set of devices together, right? In a network, we know that we have number of devices and to create the network, we should connect all those devices together. And you know that to connect devices, we can use different topologies like uh, bus topology, ring topology, star topology, like that, right? So whatever the topology we use, first we have to connect all those stuff. So the, uh, this device is just connect all those devices together. But the thing is, when we compare this with a switch, this device, uh, device is the least intelligent device, right? This is least intelligent, uh, right here. Least intelligent. And... Uh, this is just like a connecting point, right? This is just like a connection point. And here we see multiple ports as well. If you see this picture itself, you can see there are multiple tools. And what happens is when data comes to one of these ports, all those data will be copied into other ports. For an example, I'll write it here. Here you have number of ports. So different uh, devices could be connected to all these ports, right here. You can connect number of devices. 
like that so on you can connect devices here so when data comes to the, this port what this repeater will what this hub will do is this hub will copy all copy that data to all these ports right that means when data comes to one device that data will be passed to other devices as well so when you think of the security in this device this has the least security this is least intelligent because this hub cannot identify what kind of things are there in this uh, the in, in other ports it's just know that there is a device connected to its port right what the hub knows is hub knows that any uh, one or few devices are connected to its port and whenever it receives data to one of their ports and then it will be copied to all other ports right so here when we have a, a hub when when we have this hub inside a network the traffic will be really high because uh, this hub cannot pass data to the exact point where the data should go right so this will create unnecessary traffic traffic on this network therefore we usually do not use hubs these days right so instead of using hubs what we do is we use switches right so uh, nowadays we move for switches rather than using hubs because of the problems we have with hub so this is an example for switch so this is a switch when come when we compare this switch with the hub this is an intelligent device this can be taken as an intelligent device So intelligent means uh, this switch can learn the physical addresses of the devices which are connected to all these ports. When we connect devices to these ports, what happens is this switch can identify what are the devices connected to these port, right? In the previous example, hub could not uh, distinguish between the difference uh, hub could not uh, differentiate the devices but here the switch can differentiate the devices because we know that uh, at the beginning i told you we have something called mac ad address attached to network right here i told you we have a mac address which is attached to the network interface card right so that mac address could be uh, read by this switch and then these devices could be uniquely identified by, identified by this switch. So what happens is when data comes to one of this port and uh, if you want to send that data to a specific port, but it does it, it checks the MAC address of that destination and send that data to that device only what happens in the previous one is when data comes to one of its port it just copied that data to all the ports but in this case when the switch is there switch uh, can understand the mac address of each of the devices then what it does is it recognize the target device and send the data to that uh, device only right so that's why we call this is an intelligent device right so this physical addresses are uh, stored inside this switch uh, for that uh, for storing that you have switching table inside this switch right so when we talk about uh, both switch and hub uh, both these switch and hub are used to exchange data exchange data within the local area network right 
when we talk about these two devices these two devices will work within a local area network and these two devices will not be used to exchange data outside their own network right we know that when we talk about internet we have number of networks separate networks are there and all those networks are connected together right for an example if i draw a small diagram here I'll draw something like this right here we have a network assume that all those are connected right and here we have another network and uh, switches and hubs are used only within this network switch and hub are within this network but if we want to connect these two networks we need some more devices in between so when we connect that one that means when we connect two separate networks in between that we cannot use switches or hubs right that is what you have to remember when we are using switches or hubs switches and hubs could be used only within their own network and if you want to connect two different networks together we cannot do that using switches or hubs we need another device device to do so okay now here we have a repeater so don't misunderstand the repeater and switches right what the repeater will do is a bit different than what we uh, do with switches right so when we have a repeater uh, we just deal with the signals right there is nothing to do with the data comes into this device what this device will do is uh, it uh, considered only con con considers only about the uh, signal which receives to that device for an example uh, when this device receives a signal something like this right what this device will do is it will clean whatever the noise attached to the incoming signal and then it will amplify and thereafter resend that amplified signal so your signal that means your output signal will be a clean noise free amplified signal so that is the purpose of having a repeater within a network connection if you have this in between two uh, two ends what will happen is the signal comes from one end will be taken into the repeater and all the noise will be removed and uh, the poor signals will be amplified and resend the signal so when we pass when when the signal travels a uh, long distance this will be very helpful because you know that uh, when a signal travels a long distance it tends to um, add more noise and uh, therefore it is necessary to have a repeater to repeat that signal um, without noise and uh, uh, with a good size right so remember that uh, this repeater do not have anything to do with the data uh, you have right this purely think things about whatever the signal comes in and whatever the signal you have to send to the other side okay then we have a bridging device which is called as bridge and this uh, bridging device is used to uh, connect two lands together so if you want to have one particular network that means one particular uh, local area network by connecting two different different lands what you have to do is you will have to use a bridge in between so using that bridge you can connect those two uh, separate networks together so here also 
what uh, this bridge does is this bridge will maintain a MAC address table and uh, according to the uh, MAC address it will think it will decide whether you have to uh, bridge the data or not right so the purpose of having a bridge is to uh, connect two separate lands together and uh, uh, and uh, both separate lands can work separately and whenever uh, you need to access separate lands you can uh, access through this bridge, bridge and using the MAC address this will decide uh, where the data should go and as I told you if you are using hubs and switches you can't uh, link two separate networks together right so what you need to connect two separate network is you need a router here you have set of routers so the purpose of router is using a router you can connect two separate networks together right that means uh, what this router does is this router will forward all the data come from one network to another right as i told you your switch usually recognize the mac address of the device right but using the mac address we cannot go into another network so what we will do is in between network we use a router and this router works with IP addresses. If I move to this place, if you want to connect these two networks together, to handle that you need that device called router here. Router will be needed for this place and what this router does is when uh, data packets comes from uh, one network it can uh, send those data packets and though we usually say forwarding data packets that forwarding part will be done by this router and it can identify what is the ip address of a target device right ip address means an address we uh, used to uniquely identify devices in a network you will learn what are IP addresses right so don't worry about that uh, when you connect your device into a network your device will have uh, a unique address called IP address right okay and here you see number of uh, routers This router looks different than this one, right? Here, this one looks different than this one. If you uh, if you see what are the differences, here we have a wireless router, right? And uh, here we have wired router, right? So if you want to connect your devices to internet, you usually use a router, right? We know that uh, now even you are using a router sometimes to connect into internet so this kind of a router may be there or this kind of a router may be there right first one shows a wireless router and second one shows a wired router here wireless uh, um, antennas are there so once you plugged your uh, connection internet connection to this uh, uh, these these ports all the devices could get internet through this device so the difference between these two is here you have a wired wireless uh, antenna as well as some ports are there which can be used to connect some other devices with a uh, wire or a cable and here you do not have wireless antenna so if you use this uh, wireless router you will be able to connect only uh, those devices with wires right so and the other thing we have here is a bit different than what we have discussed up there here we have 
the wireless access point right so both these are wire routers this one is a router and this one is also a router and this one is a wire uh, access point so this is an access point This is a wireless access point. So this one is also <coughs> used to uh, access to internet. So you may think that uh, what is the difference between these two, right? So we know that uh, internet comes from your internet service provider. Internet service provider can be uh, uh, any uh, available service provider like Dialog or Mobitel, Mobitel or any service provider. So internet comes from those service providers. So that internet should be connected, connected to your routers and router will distribute that uh, internet connection to the other devices, right? But here, if you use access point, what you have is you cannot directly have internet to that place uh, for directing. So what you do is you connect your IS internet service provider to this router and uh, this uh, router uh, connects to this access point and using this access point you can send internet to the other devices right so internet comes to this router and then thereafter you can use a cable to connect the router to the access point and then this access point will distribute wireless internet to your other devices right this can be connected together and therefore if you use access point you will not be able to uh, plug any other cables uh, to receive internet from this access point right you will need wireless devices to access uh, with help of access point this is called as wireless access point so that is the difference between router and wireless access point so you may have seen all this stuff in your uh, networks as well and the final device we have is modem so this is what brings internet to your home this is called as modem modem is what brings internet to you okay. so your service provider will uh, give internet to this modem and this modem will uh, connect to a router and thereafter router will distribute internet to other devices right as i told you about router about uh, router is connected uh, to distinguish different networks and it can forward data from one network to the other and this modem will connect to your internet service provider and bring internet to your area right your home or your institute or whatever so if you go if you have more uh, devices to be connected to internet you will need a router and then that router will distribute all those uh, connections to all over right so here you have your isp and that isp will give internet to your modem and then what happens is your modem will connect it to a router let's say router So that router can connect, it, connect many devices to this network and all these devices can, could access internet, right? Internet comes from ISP, it will uh, come into modem and uh, modem will be connected to a router and router will distribute uh, or forward the data comes through this uh, modem right and uh, the purpose of the modem is not just to distribute internet 
the purpose of the modem is to convert signals right we know isp may be far away from you so the signals comes from isp are analog signals and the signals your computers will read your computers or the computing devices will read digital signals so without converting the and this analog signal into digital signal we cannot uh, we means the devices your computing devices will not be able to understand this data so that conversion part happens inside this modem so what this modem does is it will demodulate this incoming signal and convert that into this kind of a digital signal so that process is, is called as demodulation and uh, when you send data to the internet service provider right data comes into you as well as you upload data as well right so when you upload things what happens is the data comes out of your devices will again converted into this analog signals and sent to that internet service provider so that process is called as modulus modulation so when the signal comes from this provider it will be demodulated and will go to your router and uh, when you upload uh, your data will be modulated and will go to the internet service provider and the other important thing you will have to remember is here you do not it is not compulsory to use a router if you have only one device right even without this router you still can have internet through this modem but the thing is you will not be able to connect that internet into multiple devices if you want to connect internet into multiple devices uh, you will need a router but uh, if you have only one one device to be connected then you can directly plug this modem into that device so those are the things i wanted to discuss here today i'll uh, briefly mention those things uh, things again communication devices thiyenne communication devices varga keepayak thiyenawa me hama ekakma ona karanawa ogollanta network ekaka data pass karana kota ithara palawinima device ekak api katha karana network interface card ekaka network interface card ekata api ketiyen kiyena nic kiyala ehema naththam local area network adapter ekak lan adapter ekak kiyala kiyena ithara wala ಡೆಸ್ಕ್ಟಾಪ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ಸ್ ಪಾವಿಚಿ ಕರಣವನ ಮೈ ವಗೆ ದಕಲಾತಿ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಅಡಾಪ್ಟ್ ಏಕ ಇತರ ಮೇ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಅಡಾಪ್ಟ್ ಏಕ ಹರಹ ತಮೈ ಅಪಿ ಕೇಬಲ್ಸ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಕೇಬಲ್ಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕರಣ ಇತರ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಕೇಬಲ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕರಣ ಇತರ ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಏಕ ತೀನ ಅಗಲಂಡ ಪೇನ ಅತಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಅ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಏಕ ಕಿಲ ಕಿಯಾನ್ನೆ ಇತರ ಆರ್ ಜೆ 45 11 ಆರ್ಜೆ ಕೇಳ ಕೇಳ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ಡ್ ಜಾಕ್ ಕೇನಕ ತಮೈ ಆರ್ಜೆ ಕೇನಕ ಅದಹಸ ಇತಟ ಆರ್ಜೆ 11 ಕೇಳ ಕೇವೋತ್ ಹೇಮ ಏಕ ತೀನಿ ಪಿನ್ 6 ಐ ಮೇಕಟ ವಡ ದೆಕಕ್ ಅಡೋಯ್ ಪಿನ್ 6 ಆಕ್ ತೀನಕ ಕೊಗಲ ಪಾವಿಚಿ ಕರನ ಓಗಲಂಗೆ ಫೋನ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಎಕಟ ಇತಕೋಟ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಎಕಟ ಓಲಟ ಓನ ವೆನೋ ಆರ್ಜೆ 45 ಕೇನ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಐಕ ಹರಿ ಇತಟ ಮೇಕ ಮೇಲ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎಕ ಮೇಲ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎಕ ಪ್ಲಗ್ ಕರನ ಪುಲುವ ಮೇ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎಕಟ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಎಕ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಎಕ ತೀಯ ಇತ ವದಗಾ ಮದ ಮದಕ ತಿಯಾ ಗನ್ನ ಓನೆ ದೇ ತಮೈ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೆತನ ತೀನ ಓಗಲಂಟ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಎಕ ಕೇಲ ಎಕ ಇತರ ಹಮ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಎಕ ಗತ್ತಮ ಮೇಕ ತೀನ ಚಿಪ್ ಎಕ ಪೊಡಿ ಇತಟ ರೋಮ್ ಚಿಪ್ ಎಕ ಕೇಲ ಅಪಿ ಕಿಯಾನ್ನೆ ಇತಟ ರೋಮ್ ಚಿಪ್ ಎಕಿಂಗ್ ಮತಕ ತಿಯಾ ಗನ್ ಇನ್ನ ಮೇ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ಎಕ ಮೇ ಇಂಟರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಎಕ ಹೈಕರ್ ಲ ತೀನ ಮೆಷಿನ್ ಎಕ ಮುಕದ್ದ ಕಿಯ
ඉන්න address එක තමයි MAC address එක. ඒතර network interface card එකකින් card එකට MAC address එක වෙනස්. ඒතර network interface card 10ක් තිබ්බොත් 10ට තියෙන MAC address 10ක්. ඒතර network එකට machine 10ක් plug කරලා තියෙනකොට machine 10ය ඒ network එකේදී වෙන වෙනම machine විදියට අඳුර ගන්න තමයි අපි MAC address එක පාවිච්චි කරන්නේ. මේකට අපි කියනවා machine එකේ නැත්තම් device එකේ physical address එක කියලා. හරි මතක තියාගන්නේ this is the physical address uh, physical address එක කියලා තමයි කියන්නේ ඒක ඇවිල්ලා mac address එක එතකොට uh, nic's තියෙනවා wireless nic's උත් එතන මේ තියෙන wireless nic එකක් මෙතන තියෙන wireless adapter එකක් මෙතන wireless nic එක අපිට පුළුවන් computers වලට plug කරන්න එතකොට cable එක connect කරන්න ඕනේ නැහැ केबल कनेक्ट करने वायरलेस सिग्नल मशीन ने कट इतनी मिनी पीसी कार्ड कार्ड लैपटापेक इंटरफेस मेतन पल्ले गोड़ा बॉक्स इंटेलीजेंट अडूमी कनेक्शन पॉइंट एक आपको गेट हमारी वैडिक वैड कराने क्या नहीं डिवाइसेस दहाई आती बहुत डिवाइस दहाई एक अट एक तो करना पॉइंट एक आपको इधर तमाई वैड कराने में इतना पोर्ट अटकती ना नहीं इतने पोर्ट में पोर्ट्स अटकती ना ये पोर्ट्स अटकती ना निशा में इतने पुलवां डिवाइसेस अटक कनेक्ट करा� इट पास मेशी अटाक कनेक्ट मेशीन ओने डेटा अंतिम मेशीन मेशीन नंबर वन के मेशीन वन नंबर वन ओने मेशीन नंबर एट डेटा आवाण मे आट एम ऐडिया मे आने अटवनी डिवैस मुखा हूं डिवैस मुखा की डिवैस एम ऐडिया हबट डेटा या पास करना तो रहा हब्बे का इंटेलिजेंट नेती डिवाइस से काफी देर तक माय वैध करना ऐ तो घटा मित्र नेती है ना मैं प्रश्न नहीं सा मैं ना द प्रश्न ट्रैफिक के कवर्डी सिक्योरिटी आदो ही हम दें तब डेट पास वैन नहीं सा वैन वैन वो डिवाइस से संदर्भ करने बे एक नहीं सा आप इंटेलिजेंट डिवाइस से का� तो ये पाविच का इंटेलिजेंट डिवाइस के इधर कुलवा एक अट अटैच कर लेते हैं ना डिवाइसेस वैन वैन मांदुर गान्ना अंदुर गान्ने मुख्य हम अदर अब यार कालिंग के पुम मैक एड्रेस से कहाँ रहा मैक एड्रेस से कहाँ रहा तमाय अंदुर गान्ने स्विच से के इधर मुख्य अदर मैं स्विच से के एक एक अपोर्ट वाले ट कनेक्ट मेन मे मशीन डेटा तदाल मशीन अंदर टारगेट कर डेटा ट्रांसफर इंटेलीजेंट डिवैस रिपीटर्स रिपीटर्स कने कतर मे तम पावित रिपीट सिग्नल दूर सिग्नल इनपुट दूर दूर सिग्नल दूर सिग्नल कन्वर्ट करोटिकल सिग्नल आपको बलपुर 
ටිකක් දුර ලොන්ග් ඩිස්ටන්ස් කම් ගොඩක් දුර සිග්නල් එක ට්‍රැවල් කරනකොට එහෙම වෙනස් වෙන්න පුළුවන් ප්‍රමාණය වැඩි ඒක අතර මැද රිපීට් එකක් තිබ්බොත් එහෙම රිපීට් එකකින් ආපහු සිග්නල් එක හොඳට හරි ගස්සලා අනිත් පැත්තට යවනවා එතකොට සිග්නල් එක කිසි කරදරයක් නැතුව යවා ගන්න පුළුවන් අනිත් එන්ඩ් එකට එකයි රිපීට් එකකින් බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන්නේ හරි එතකොට මම කලින් කිව්ව තව දෙයක් තියෙනවා switches and hubs කොහෙද පාවිච්චි වෙන්නේ කියලා switch එකයි hub එකයි ගත්තම ඒව පාවිච්චි කරන්න පුළුවන් local area network එකක් ඇතුළේ විතරයි එතකොට හේතුව තමයි මේ devices දෙකෙන් එකකටවත් බැහැ ip address handle කරන්න අපි සාමාන්‍ය ඉන්ටර්නෙට් එකේ දෙවගොල්ලෝ ඉන්ටර්නෙට් යනකොට දන්නවා ip address කියලා ජාතියක් තියෙනවා එතකොට ip address පස්සේ ඉගෙන ගන්නවා අතර තේරෙයි හරියට මොකද්ද ඒ කියලා अनिवार्य තමන්ට අදාළ ලෝකල් ඒරියා නෙට්වර්ක් එක ඇතුළේ විතරයි වැඩ කරන්නේ. ඒතර නෙට්වර්ක් දෙකක් කනෙක්ට් කරන්න ඕන නම් ඔයාලට පාවිච්චි කරන්න වෙනවා රවුටර් කියලා ඩිවයිස් එකක්. හරි. එතකොට තව දෙයක් තියෙනවා නෙට්වර්ක් පොඩි ලෝකල් ඒරියා නෙට්වර්ක් කොටස් විදියට එකට එකතු කරලා වැඩ කරන්න. එක නෙට්වර්ක් එකක් කොටස් දෙකකට බෙදලා තියෙන වෙලාවට හිතන්න ලෝකල් ඒරියා නෙට්වර්ක් එකක් තියෙනවා කොටස් දෙකක් විදිහට වැඩ කරන කියලා එතකොට ඒ කොටස් දෙක අතරමැදිදී අපිට බ්‍රිඩ්ජ් එකක් පාවිච්චි කරන්න පුළුවන් බ්‍රිඩ්ජ් එකකින් කරන්නේ ලෝකල් ඒරියා නෙට්වර්ක් දෙකක් ලෝකල් ඒරියා නෙට්වර්ක් දෙකක්මයි එතකොට වැඩ කරන්නේ ඒ දෙක එකට එකතු කරන එක තමයි බ්‍රිඩ්ජ් එකකින් කරන්නේ එතන රවුටර් එක මම අර කිව්වා වගේ සෙපරේට් නෙට්වර්ක් දෙක එක නෙට්වර්ක් එකකින් තව නෙට්වර්ක් එකක් අඳුර ගන්න තමයි රවුටර් එකක් පාවිච්චි කරන්නේ ඒ වගේ ඉන්ටර්නෙට් යනකොට मेक गुडा को इंटरनेट लोकल इंटरनेट इंटरनेट सर्विस प्रोवैडर्स प्रोवैडेटवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्कवर्
signal analog signal එකක් විදිහට මේ විදිහට තමයි wave form එක ඔය wave ඔය විදිහට wave form එකක් තමයි අපිට හම්බ වෙන්නේ තමයි අපේ තියෙන්නේ computers නේ computing devices නේ විතර ඒවා analog signals නෙමෙයි වැඩ කරන්නේ ඉතින් ඒක අනිවාර්යයෙන් මේ එන internet එක හරියට අපිට හම්බ වෙන්න නම් ඒක convert කරන්න ඕනේ digital signal එකකට convert කරන්න ඕනේ ඉතින් ඒ conversion part එක කරන්න තමයි modem එකක් පාවිච්චි කරන්නේ ඉතින් මේ analog signal එක digital signal එකක් හා එකක් බවට හරවනකොට අපි කියනවා demodulation කියලා. ඒතර digital signal එකක් analog signal එකක් විදිහට convert වෙනකොට අපි කියනවා modulation කියලා. මේ දෙකම වෙනවා modem එකකින්. මොකද ඔයගොල්ලෝ download කරනවා කියලා අන්තන්නේ. ඉතින් කියන්නේ ඔයගලන්ට download කරත් upload කරත් data එහා පහට යනවා. ඒතර data ඔයගලන්ගේ network එක ඇතුළත්ට එනකොට අපිට හැමතිස්සෙම demodulate වෙලා තමයි signal එන්නේ. ඒතර ඔයගලන්ගේ network එකේ ඉඳන් පිටත internet service provider පැත්තට යනකොට data modulate වෙලා යන්නේ. ඒතර modem එකේ කරන purpose එක තමයි demodulation modulation කියන වැඩේ. එතකොට මේ module modem එකත් එක්ක තමයි router එක attach වෙලා තියෙන්නේ. router එකෙන් පුළුවන් එක එක networks වලට internet බෙදා හරින්න. එතකොට router එකක් අත්‍යවශ්‍යම නැහැ. modem එකකින් විතර internet හම්බෙන ගන්න පුළුවන්. හැබැයි ප්‍රශ්නේ තියෙන්නේ modem එකකින් එක connection එකයි ඔයාලට දෙන්න පුළුවන්. ඒතර වාගේ ගෙදර machine එකක් විතර ආයනම් තියෙන්නේ. එක machine එකක් නම් තියෙන්නේ. ඔයාලට කරන්න තියෙන්නේ. කැලින්ම මේ modem එකට මේ machine එක plug කරන එකයි කරන්න තියෙන්නේ. එහෙම ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ. එහෙම නැත්තම් ගොඩාක් devices වලට දෙන්න තියෙනවා නම් අනිවාර්යෙන් මේ විදිහට router එකක් පාවිච්චි කරන්න පුළුවන්. එහෙම නැත්තම් access point එකක් කරහත් ඔයගලන්ට internet access කරන්න පුළුවන්. හරි මේ ටික තමයි ඔයගලන්ට තියෙන්නේ. එතකොට LMS note එක note එකේ in detail තියෙනවා. මම rough idea එකක් විතර ඔයගලන්ට අත් දුන්නේ. LMS note එකක් මම share කරන්නම් මේ ගමන් බලන්න. මේ තියෙන ඔයගලන්ගේ LMS note එක ඒකේ තියෙන interface card එකෙන් පටන් ගන්න. RJ45 connect එක, repeat එක, hub එක uh bridges හරි switch router access point ආ තව දෙයක් මෙතන මෙතන satellite satellite communication වලදී අපි පාවිච්චි කරන්න වෙනවා මේ වගේ අ Vsat terminals එතකොට තමයි satellite එක හරහා එන signals අපිට ගන්න පුළුවන් يعني transmit කරන්න receive කරන්න Vsat එකක් පාවිච්චි කරන්න පුළුවන් समहार इंटरनेट फोन एडीएसएल कनेक्शन के लगा था मैं एडीएसएल कनेक्शन ने कहीं ने फोन लाइन में लिंग तो फोन लाइन ने कहेंगे ना कोटे फोन लाइन के गुलाब दाना वॉइस सुते ना इट पासी दें डेट आते ना तो वॉइस डेट है वैना वैना में गाते ना इतना वो इधर का मिक्स है ना तो तो इतना स्प्लिटर एक एंग कराने फोन लाइन फोन कॉल इ වෙනම ගන්න පුළුවන්. ඒතර voice වෙනම data වෙනම ඔයගලන්ට හම්බ වෙනවා splitter එකේදී. හරි. ඒතර මේ ටික තමයි ඔයගලන්ට අද ඉගෙන ගන්න තියෙන්නේ. මේ devices හරහා තමයි ඔයගලෝ internet connect වෙනකොට සහ ඔයගලන්ගේ local area network connect වෙනකොට පාවිච්චි වෙන්නේ. ඒතර හැම device එකක්ම හැම තිස්සෙම පාවිච්චි වෙන්නේ නැහැ. අවශ්‍ය විදිහට අවශ්‍ය අදාළ devices තමයි පාවිච්චි වෙන්නේ. चटना मतकिया 
मनाते हैं ऐडिया दिखाने मैक्रोवे मोडमेकना केबल लेकिन तमाई कनेक्ट कराने इतने नेटवर्क केबल लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क कल दिया पाविच कराने को हम अटा आर जे फोर्टी फाइव कनेक्ट का तक का पाविच कराना लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क केबल लेकर अभी सामान्य कर निकाम किए ना कोटे किया ने नेटवर्क केबल के लाने क्या मिला ट्विस्टेड पे आ केबल लेका केबल केबलिंग वर्ग के दुराने कन्वर्ट कर वायरलेस सिग्नल को हम अपने दें डायलॉग रोटे का गन उदाहरण है इधर को हम अपने दें ने उगलाने तो वायरलेस सिग्नल लेगा ये वायरलेस सिग्नल लेगा मतलब एनालॉग सिग्नल लेगा आपके दिए टेन ने एक डिजिटल कन्वर्ट कर लेते ना उगलांगे राउट मॉडर्म राउटे की दिए ना मॉडर्म किए ना पार्ट टेकिंग राउटे क